ZANU-PF has dismissed claims its annual People's Conference penciled for month and aims, among other things, to endorse what is believed to be an attempt by President Emerson Nangagwa to secure a third term. The conference, set for October 20 to 29, is expected to draw nearly 3,000 delegates. Munangagwa, who muscled his way into power on the back of a bloodless coup in 2017, is in his second and last term allowed by the country's constitution. The Zimbabwe incumbent is yet to review thoughts about his political future, but there are strong sentiments his actions currently could be pointing to a bid to hedge his job while also preparing ground to launch a bid for a third term. Munangagwa, who recently secured a second term following disputed polls in August, he has kept his old cabinet almost intact while pushing for the expulsion of over a dozen opposition legislators through sponsoring a dodgy recall order by a man who claims to be the C interim secretary general. Any bid for a third term shall be occasioned by a constitutional amendment which requires a two-thirds majority vote in parliament. In the August elections, Sanupiev came short of reaching its two-thirds majority and cannot rally any constitutional amendment, even if all its MPs vote in the affirmative. Munangagwa, considered a political schema, is also appointed his non-loyalist to key positions such as Attorney General, Prosecutor General, National Assembly Speaker, and Chief Justice in case his assumed maneuvers run into legal headers. Sources within ZANU-PF say Munangagwa was also keen to use the upcoming conference is a platform to both silence and page passive dissenters. ZANU PF Acting Information Director Farai Tamara Pira dismissed the claims, saying they were based on ignorance of the difference between a conference and a congress. The biggest issue is that these are positions coming from people that are ignorant as to the meaning of terms. They do not understand when ZANU PF is holding a conference. Neither do they know what it means when ZANPF is holding a congress. This is clear, clear that they are not members of ZANPF because if anyone was a member of ZANPF, they would know that this year is a conference. People will be meeting. There are no elections. There are no changes of any position within the party structure. As ZANPF, we can't respond to allegations of war within ourselves from people without simply because people are ignorant of how our party is structured and how our meetings go about. This is going to be a conference celebrating our election win and of course rumor mongers will be rumor mongers. These rumors should be thrown out with the disgust and disdain that they truly deserve.